Hello everyone and welcome to another Sulu video and today we're going to be talking about the latest release in Pokemon Unite, Metagross. Now because I believe in upfronting the knowledge, I'm going to go give you a little bit of an outline of what we're going to talk about today. The main thing we're going to talk about is exactly how this is playing. You know, there's been a lot of opinions on Twitter already and in YouTube in general. I think people are struggling with the Pokemon. People are also doing pretty well. Uh, look, I, I think it's a pretty cut and dry mon. The idea is okay. Maybe the damage is a little bit on the low side, like there is some things that really feel bad, there's some things that feel really good, we're going to talk about that today, and of course, yes, if you're in for that, if you're interested, you know, keep your butt glued to your seat, go get yourself a drink, get comfy, and if that's not for you, that's okay, leave a like, sub, and comment, you know, what would you like to see instead, and of course, let's get started, okay, so Metagross just came out yesterday, insane Pokemon it looks so great and congratulations to people two people who won it from my Twitter giveaway we'll be doing another giveaway for New Year's Eve blah 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 okay so make sure to keep your eyes out for that anyway so Metagross as you can see I'm jungling it I don't know I don't think it's a really good jungler to be honest tackle does seem interesting it doesn't seem like the best secure you have the boost auto attack from iron defense which so is yeah just going over this so tackle shoots a little projectile if you hit something you dash to it and Iron Defense, if you use it, you get a little shield, and then you also get an attack reset and a boosted attack. So if you're using it cleverly, you can get a double attack and a boosted attack. Two dub two boosts. Really nice. Alright. So now that we understand all that, we're gonna see I'm running tackle, medium mesh, and I'm gonna go into Zen Headbutt this game. Um First game in, so as you can see here, I'm a little bit overzealous and I think I can do a lot more than what I actually can do and I just end up dying for nothing. <laughs> Pretty terrible if you might say so myself. I'm playing with some friends, so I'm just trying to gank their lane. And as you can see, like it does seem that I, you have some powers with this Pokemon. Like you definitely have a lot of burst damage. Meteor Mash is surprisingly big and it can really take people off guard, especially Squishies. And when you dive onto them and you hit them in the Meteor Mash is really good. The problem I've been having is that, oh, okay, the follow-up after that. You sort of like become a, a gray goose and you're sort of chasing them around. It's really weird. Um, if you didn't have to chase them around like that, it would be very powerful. But of course, it is part of the design. You do your damage, you find your ins, find your outs. So yes, I do think Meteor Mash is probably the better set right now. I have a gameplay of G Gyro Ball, <laughs> Gyro Ball, Gyro Ball, Euros Ball. I've been told. <laughs> uh, and what we'll do is we'll probably put that up and see how you guys like it. And of course, like you guys can compare the gameplays and see which one you think is better. So as you can see, my Glacier is doing some good work here. And we got the flank in on the Pikachu. I've landed the tackle and boom. As you can see, there is a significant damage behind this. And look, wow, look at that auto attack. Of course, triple kill stolen by this Glacier. Shaking my head, shaking my head. I'm running attack weight in this game. So... The items I've been running, Attack Weight, Weakness Policy, and Razor Claw for this game. I don't know if that's like the best combination. Honestly, like look, it does look like when I played it, damage items are better than tank items by a lot. And it feels really rough because I do feel like the identity of this Pokemon is that it wants to be a tank. It doesn't want to be a damage dealer, but you do so much damage. But at the same time, you don't. And I guess... In a second, we're going to talk about what I think is a major flaw of this Pokemon. But yeah, for now, as I said, I think Meteor Mash is really good. I think Gyro Ball can be pretty good. The shields are fun. And if you like are creative of how you use it, you can be very annoying for enemy teams. But at the same time, there's some very big weaknesses with how this Pokemon operates. And as we're about to tick into it, it's level nine. Level nine honestly sucks in this Pokemon. Um, the Unite move, it seems like really good. If you could get it off, if you could actually use it and not die in it and everything, and you have the whole thing, I don't know, like, it, it looks really good. But the problem is that over, like, the 10 games I played in Metagross, I just permanently was getting this Unite move cancelled. <laughs> like, literally anything in the game was cancelling it. Like, I'm talking from a Blissey Egg to Serena Stomp, anything. You're gonna see here, so, like, I'm, like, I, I eagerly take this 1v4, boom, the shield goes down. And I'm like sort of like in my own little thing. I'm like juking them around. Like they can't hit me. It's, it's sort of cool, right? Like it's, it's like working out and then I find Pikachu. Like, you see, taking the space, going for the distance and boom, we one shot the Pikachu. Like this is making me think, I'm like at this point, I'm like, wow, okay. The boosted auto attacks feel like you're hitting like a heavyweight champ, like a young Mike Tyson. You're like, boom, boom, boom. Like these boosted auto attacks are very good. Really enjoy them. Really does enjoy the design of how it works as well. I feel like it's really well put together. So like, 
I guess that would be the biggest weakness of Metagross. So it's level nine. It, the jump speed is a bit slow. And I think like, you know, with more practice and whatnot, um, you can make the animations very smooth. I, I don't think it's a bad Pokemon at all. It's definitely, I don't know if I would rate it better than Blaziken release. It's definitely better than Miascarada release. I, I'm not too sure. But it feels like it does a lot of impact. It is still semi-tanky. It has a lot of life steal. It's a good brawler. The main thing I would say is this Unite move. It's, it feels really unimpactful. And that's a really annoying part of the game, I guess. Like, because you, you want to have an impactful Unite move, right? Like, Pokemon that don't have impactful Unite moves really struggle. Because you hit this level 9. And you want to go do stuff on the map. And sometimes, like, if you don't have such an impactful Unite move, especially as a carry character... You're really gonna feel that unless your abilities are very strong. Like I mean, I mean like Glacian's United Move isn't the most impactful, but all of its damage comes from abilities, so it's not that bad. But if you look at like you know Cinderace, Greninja, like these are some examples of the typical carries. You get United Move, and you are actually quite strong. And look at that secure range; it is very powerful. Meteor Mash does do a lot of damage. Mm, maybe if there was a way to reduce the cooldown a little bit more or make it a little bit like you know more spammable it would be very powerful but as of right now it feels like it's just a touch away from like being s tier i would put it in the b tier right now i don't think it's a bad one in any capacity and it's got a very unique play style we're gonna learn it now. and look at this okay all right, Blissey comes in. I see, now, this is what I'm talking about. This is the second Unite move. Like, I'm getting stunned over and over again. But nonetheless, the fight continues. And boom, one goes down to the Busuo attack. Hook onto the Pikachu. Boom, taken down. Boom, I'm attacking the Blastoise. So it's triple kill. And oh, we're onto this guy as well. And he can run away. And boom, 1,200 damage in the boost auto attack. And we're taking the last one for the Penta. It's a 1v... It was okay. 2v5 Penta kill. It's pretty damn awesome. We eject away. Machamp comes in. And okay, I'm just Serena ulted. That's so unfortunate. Like my Penta kill is stolen. No, my opportunities. I got. I get the kill then, but um, it doesn't count for the Penta. And of course, you got to clip that. Clip it and ship it, guys. Penta kill on Metagross. This is my first game. So, uh, my impressions were quite strong. Of course, like, you know, I have a, have a brilliant Blissey looking out for me, making sure that was the right opportunity. We get the ultimate proc. I think, honestly, like, this character can be very, like, used well. It can be used very well. I think, like, maybe I'm a bit noob in this gameplay, but um, there's definitely going to be players who are going to be excelling at this soon. And I think, like, there's probably, in, in due time, there's a time for a guide. I think it's a very strong Pokemon. My weaknesses, my key weaknesses would be getting stunned. Like, this Pokemon really sucks. There's, there's two, right? Level 9 is absolutely terrible. But the second one, getting stunned. Actually getting CC'd and, like, being unable to play, it's just so terrible. It really feels annoying. Um, I don't know how it'll go on release because of this. Because there's a lot of stuns in the game. But, like, I'm, like, permanently playing Duke Wars. Just look, look at this. Like... Like, I'm forced to sit in the very back because I get hit in addition to that. I'm just melted. But, like, you are so tanky. And 220, bit of an aggressive push here. Like, it's fine. I'm a bit greedy. Like, you know, I think my character is super up here at this moment. I just came off a pentacle, guys. So, I'm like, oh, yeah, we can run this. We're doing some damage. And then, you know, we just take that guy down. And it's just it just looks like it's a pretty cut and clear decision for myself to score. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go trap them in. Like, look at how juice that looks. Like, it's actually so pog. But um, unfortunately, they all flash out. The Blissey does ult as well. I don't think Blissey needed to ult. Like, I'll be honest. I think that was a, like a big mistake. But it made my ult give value. But if the Blissey didn't ult, I would have killed Pikachu or something. And maybe we can start hard to rip. Either way, it becomes a sort of this sort of stalemate situation. I do. I, would I recommend... Metagross. Yeah, I would. Honestly, I think it's a fun character. I think its design is right. Like, look at this. Boom. Like, it's so fun. It's so enjoyable. Um, there's aspects of it that don't feel right. Having a Unite move that isn't... Like, the Unite move is almost there. Just don't let it get cancelled by CC. And maybe decrease the size of the, the Meteor that it makes. And I think it will be very, very good. Now, so you just go into a full flip. We know two of them aren't there. It's a little bit like, it's, 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 it's a good play, I feel. And yeah, looking back at it, yeah, 1900 damage, boom, attack him, one tapped. I think the Pokemon has potential. It's not bad in any capacity. I think it's actually even very good. But there has to be some things that are probably tweaked, and that's okay. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Like, look, look at this. Like, you know, we're dropping 11 kills, 14 assists in the first gameplay. A quadra kill as well to boot. I hope you all enjoyed watching me, you know, try it out. Take, say some early opinions, especially about the Zen headbutt build. There will be an upload later today about the gyro build. Gyro, gyro, <laughs> gyros. Um, but either way, 98k damage for the first game. Not bad. GG's, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. What I did forget to say was like, comment, and sub.